Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Rush Roots. Today we have Stone. So why don't you go ahead and tell us uh, who you are, where you're from? Hi, my name is Stone Cockler. That's K O C K L E R. And I was born and raised and still live in Phoenix, Arizona. Ah, all right, cool. In the desert. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, right? Yeah. All right, so from Phoenix, tell us, why don't you tell us how you got into Rush? What got you into them and what keeps you around? This is your Rush Roots. Um, long time ago, my parents always played music and they played Rush in front of me, but I was such a little kid, I had no idea what it was. And then I think Rush and Rio came out and my dad bought the DVD. So I'd walk into his bedroom and I'd see the big circle kit, but I had no idea what anything was. And then a few years later, I started getting into music. And for whatever reason, the first Rush song I listened to was the R30 drum solo. Okay. <laughs> so Interesting. I had that on my iPod, and I would listen to that. And wow. it ended with Getty introducing Resist, but then it would just cut off and go to the next track, and I would just listen to that. And, you know, unfortunately, I don't remember exactly how it happened, but it just turned into listening to an album – and then another album, then another album. And if uh, anyone out there still uses iTunes, my dad had a Rush playlist. I listened to all his songs, which was the main ones, and then deep cuts. And I just slowly went out and bought the albums with my own money, listened to the deep tracks. And in between all of this, I was playing drums at the same time. So not only did my musical knowledge and taste expand but my drum skills expanded as well and what keeps me around oh, yeah. listening to a rush song and hearing something i didn't hear before and um mm -hmm. i'll get into this mm -hmm. later but i do drum covers as well cool okay so, um, yeah and i cover rush all the time i've done over a hundred of them so wow. learning some of these rush songs i always hear something i didn't hear before yeah yeah yeah, it seems like every every time I listen to a Rush song, I'm like, wait a minute, what was that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Cool, man. All right, well, why don't you tell us uh, when, where, and what tour your first Rush show was? My first Rush tour was the Time Machine tour in August 2010 in Irvine, California at the Verizon Wireless Amphitheater. At least that's what it was called. I think it's still called that. Um <laughs> That was actually my second concert. My first concert was just a month before. So I was a little bummed that Rush wasn't my first overall concert, but I'll take it. Uh, it was yeah. great. It was um, California, Irvine, the freeway was right there. It was outdoors. Saw the, the drum solo, him turning around. Spirit of Radio was the opening song. It was, yeah. and I was with my dad in California for a day before and that day's one of the best moments of my life. Not just music but just a life moment for me yeah wow your, that's your awesome first show sounds a lot like mine it, like my first concert in general was not rush it was motley crew but it was i had the opportunity to see rush and chose motley crew <laughs> instead just Aww. because i knew the more the music i just knew more you know so it made more right. sense but uh yeah my first show was time machine too so your story sounds pretty familiar <laughs> to mine <laughs> so cool. that's pretty cool yeah Except I'm All on right. the East Coast. <laughs> but. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Different, you saw different areas of the country. It was outside, and my first rush show was outside as well, so. Wow, there's a lot of, yeah, this is a little, it's getting kind of creepy now. <laughs> yeah, just for the record, my first show was inside, so yeah. <laughs> All right, so what was your first favorite song and your first favorite album, and how is that different from your favorite song and favorite album today? Uh, when I first got into Rush, I didn't really have a favorite song. I had like 15, you know, separate favorites. But as time went on, it eventually became YYZ, which is still my favorite. And favorite album, it's easily moving pictures. It's probably my favorite album ever. Not just Rush, just album period. But might come across as a little biased, which I'm, I'm fine with. But <laughs> really nothing's really changed it's been yyz moving pictures ever since then and and cygnus x1 too that was always one of my favorites and that stayed everything else is kind of come and gone 
Book one or book one or book two? Book one. Book, book one is book amazing, yeah. man. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah totally. It is, man. <laughs> that that album is is killer mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's great, man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I don't think Rush is just amazing. I don't think it's cliche or anything to pick. You know, their most popular album as your favorite. I mean, people's people's favorite albums tend to tend to fluctuate a little bit, but uh, I think. Mm -hmm people end up going back to a, an album or two but no I, I think it's uh there's a lot of rush fans that i've spoken to that uh, uh that jim and i have spoken to that moving pictures is their favorite it just is what it is oh yeah know? so i love it all right well uh why don't you tell us uh where people can find you on social media if uh they want to get to know you a little bit more as a rush fan um, my biggest one is, as I mentioned earlier, I do drum covers on YouTube and I post them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter now. Um, it's Rush Bauer. So Rush space Bauer, B-A-U-E-R. Um, Rush is my favorite band and my favorite TV show is 24, which is Jack Bauer. So that's what that name means. That's probably the biggest one. I tr I do one Rush cover a month. Um, I, it changes. I do a lot of old stuff and new heavy stuff. But there's always well, at least once, sometimes twice a month, a Rush cover. Um, it's Rush Bauer. I think um, that's pretty much it. I don't really use my other social medias. I mean, you can go on Facebook and friend request me. That's fine. But I prefer YouTube. So that's where you can be found on YouTube is, is Rush Bauer. Is there a space in there or is it all one word? There is a space, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Awesome. Well, so, we'll check that out. And, uh, yeah, those watching, go go check out Stone's YouTube channel. And um, anyone who is watching that wants to, you know, come on an episode of Rush Roots, just feel free to send us a direct message on Instagram. Uh, be at Rush Fans. And uh, with that, we will wrap. Take care, everybody.